Okay, what I'd like you to do is implement the functions gets and cas. I'm in the file with our toy memcached. We've got our other functions, set, get, delete, um, and cache is just a dictionary, which whose behavior mimics memcached for the most part. What I'd like you to do is implement gets and cas. So gets takes one parameter called key, and it returns a tuple of the value stored in the cache and a hash of that value. A simple hash we can use is you can use the built-in Python function hash on the built-in function called wrapper um, on the value. So wrapper turns any Python object into a string representation of it, which will work for our little test case here. And hash just returns a simple hash of that, of that string. And if the value is not in the cache, you just return none. Now, cas is the more complicated function. This sets the key to equal value in our cache and return true if the cache unique matches the hash of the value that's already in the cache. If the cache unique does not match the hash, um, we don't set anything and we return false. If you look down here, we've got our test functions. The top few are the same ones we had before. And down here, you can see what we've, we, we've got. So here's setting x to 2. And then we print gets x. And this is going to print 2 and then a hash. It's not going to print the word hash. It's going to print a number. And then we're going to call cas, um, trying to set x to 3. And in this case, I'm going to send in just 0, which I know won't be the hash. And cas should return false. And then if we run cas again with the correct hash, the one that re was returned from gets, we should update the cache and return true. And if we print get x, we should see the value 4, because that's what we set it to here. OK, good luck with this.